My name is Theodora Scarato. I'm a clinical psychotherapist and a social worker, and I'm director of Educational Resources at Environmental Health Trust. Um, so you've probably seen the headlines that Steve Jobs was a low-tech parent or that Bill Gates didn't let his children use cell phones till they were 14 or that um, the royal family, the only thing that's banned in their home for their children are iPads. And we hear a lot about the health risks of screens, social media, um, bullying, addiction, it stimulates the brain similar, turn on the brain actually, just like drugs, sex, and rock and roll. Um, so we are addicted to our devices, I think, as a society. Um, and we also hear about sleep. These devices affect our sleep, um, bullying, suicide, tech snack, which you've heard, and actually there are a lot of orthopedic issues around using the computers in ways that don't make sense for a healthy body posture, and learning um, and attention. Um, but one thing that I think a lot of people in the United States are not as aware of is the issue of radio frequency radiation. And I am, uh, you know, as a professional concerned about all of these issues, but I've come to focus on this one. And I work at the Environmental Health Trust doing research, and I think creating one of the, one of the largest database, which is not complete, about protective policies worldwide. So what you see in front of you is just a sampling of the over 20 countries which have taken action. And France actually has a 2015 law where there's cell phone radiation labeling. The Wi-Fi is turned off in classrooms except when in use. Belgium has banned the sale of, of cell phones that are designed for children. Um, Israel has a, a lot going on over there. I hope that you will take the time to go to our website where we have um, international policy. Cyprus just this year removed wireless from their elementary school and just this week a French Polynesia created a large uh, campaign, a public awareness campaign in addition to a new law which bans advertising of cell phones to children under 14 just as France has actually. Um, and they also have specific recommendations about children using cell phones. Um, and they say that children who are under 14 should not be using cell phones. They also talk a lot about elect other electromagnetic radiation frequencies. What you're seeing is actually the video they have on YouTube about the different devices in the home. This is a, their public awareness campaign. You see the baby monitor. And you can think about all the devices in our homes that emit radio frequency radiation. At this point, it's, it's become a, a massive exposure for all of us, and it's a new exposure. So there are over 20 countries that recommend reducing exposure to cell phone radiation, and they say it very clearly. They say, we recommend that you reduce exposure to cell phone radiation. If you'll notice, I don't have the United States up there, because actually the United States doesn't quite say that. It did at one time, for just a few months, say, we recommend caution in cell phone use and children are more vulnerable. And within months, that disappeared from the web page. It was a whole scandal, which we can talk about another time. Um, but these countries actually are quite clear about that. And in my state of Maryland, the, the Governor's Advisory Council on Children and Environmental Health which is a 19-member panel. It has the Department of Education, um, Department of Health, pediatricians, epidemiologists, experts, and their goal is actually to come together and talk about environmental health in children, and they talk about lead and asthma and you know plastics and all of those exposures we're exposed to. So they've been working on this for over a year now, and they just issued new recommendations that the Maryland State Department of Education should consider using wired devices in classrooms. And if a new classroom is to be built, um, network cables can be added at the same time, providing wired internet access. And I know that at the same time that this is happening, some school systems, in including Montgomery County um, near where I live, are bringing in not only devices but also cell phones and all kinds of wireless devices into the classroom as tools and what makes that difference is you've got a lot of devices in one room, a lot of kids and it's sort of a unique um, exposure. So at the same time in the United States there is a serious legal effort moving forward 
informing people that their cell phones and their devices emit microwave radiation. So this slide, um, I don't know if you can see it quite clearly, but this is about the Berkeley cell phone right to know ordinance. An ordinance that as soon as this law was passed, the Wireless Association uh, slammed with a lawsuit. And I'll just read a little bit about what, what the law says is that retailers must inform when you walk into a store to buy a phone, you are informed that your cell phone emits radiation and that it has a fine print warning in it about the testing that Dr. Arazi talked about. And I'll just read a quote from it. If you carry or use your phone in a pants or shirt pocket, or tucked into a bra when the phone is on and connected to a wireless network, you may exceed the federal guidelines for exposure to RF radiation. That's exactly what this, the French government agency testing has shown. You can exceed radiation at body contact. And this potential risk is greater for children is, has a line through it because although the law was, was passed with that, that got taken out during there's a successive lawsuits and that's a whole story that you can read about as well on our website and many other websites. So the case went to the Court of Appeals and you see Harvard constitutional lawyer Lawrence Lessig as well as former Solicitor General um, Theodore Olson arguing for the Wireless Association who argued that it is violating their free speech rights to be forced to inform the consumer about this information. Now, Jackson Hole, um, as I found out, had one of the first, and actually it was previous to 212, there were two proclamations issued here in Jackson Hole about cell phone radiation. And it's a long proclamation that tells how to reduce exposure, why to reduce exposure. And I'll just read um, the last paragraph. Now, therefore, I, Mark Barron, mayor of the town of Jackson, do hereby declare the month of October 212 as Cell Phone Awareness Month, and in so doing, urge citizens to become aware of the risks associated with prolonged cell phone use and take the steps necessary to mitigate these risks to themselves and to the children in their care. And actually, a lot of um, there are a lot of other cities that have also done this, in, including in, in my town in one in Florida, where the local cities are taking action to inform the public. Um, so how do we reduce exposure? We have a lot of cards that have different <coughs> strategies that you can use from your cell phone as well as other devices as to how to keep a distance from your phone, um, don't carry your cell phone on your body. Any device that emits radio frequency radiation, we want to find safe wire devices to replace that whenever we can. This is part of the Baby Safe project, which is an EPA recognized um, project in coordination with Grassroots Environmental. There's an appeal of obstetricians and pediatricians and experts who are recommending to take caution with pregnant women. The developing brain of a baby is, is very vulnerable, most vulnerable. So I brought a couple devices here just to show you that. You know, one of the things that I find really important, the, one of the first things I did is get a, a corded phone and took out my cordless phones. I got a really long line so I could do the dishes with it. <laughs> Hooked up with a corded mouse. You can sort of go through your house and think about what's wireless and, and take the time to swap out um, with wired using airplane mode whenever possible and really decreasing and minimizing your use um, so we're going to talk a lot about that, and um, I'll open it up to the panel now. I know everyone has questions, right. so thank you very much.